The original residence was primarily a hunting lodge and private retreat for Louis XIII. Later Louis XIV built a majestic palace from his father's small chateau and in 1682 moved to the Palace of Versailles that became the symbol of his reign. In 1789 the French Revolution forced Louis XVI to leave Versailles for Paris. Chateau Versailles is one of the most excessively visited monuments on the planet, with almost 15 million visitors each year. On a typical high season day more than 30,000 tourists enter the main gate. Versailles also serves as a national historical building, where the French Parliament meets in Congress. The Palace of Versailles is currently owned by the French state. Today the palace contains 2,300 rooms. All areas have some spectacular things to see and experience. We will spend the majority of our time in the main palace. The Hall of Mirrors is located on the first floor of the palace and is part of the self-guided tour of the Grand Apartments. The hall is 73 meters long and 10.4 meters wide with a total of 357 mirrors. The Hall of Mirrors, the most famous room in the palace, was designed in 1684 to symbolically represent the power and glory of the King of France and nowadays is undoubtedly one of the rooms that attract more tourists throughout the year. The Gallery of Great Battles is the largest room in the palace, 120 meters long and 13 meters wide. It covers almost the entire first floor of the south wing and depicts nearly 15 centuries of French military successes. Since its opening the gallery has remained intact and untouched. The Mars room followed on from the two previous rooms and marked the start of the king's apartment. It was used as a guard room, making its dedication to the god of war highly appropriate. The bedchamber is the room where the queen spent most of her time. The decoration in the room still reflects the three queens who once occupied it. The fabrics hanging on the bed and walls were rewoven in Leon using the original patterns and the bed and balustrade have been remade using ancient documents.
The coronation room was initially a chapel, but became the guard room in 1682. In the center of the room is the Austerlitz column made in 1807 to commemorate Napoleon's victories in the German campaign of 1805. The coronation painting, which was located in this room and actually shows the coronation of Empress Josephine, was moved from Versailles to the Louvre in Paris in 1889. It has since been replaced by a second copy. In this room Venus is depicted on the ceiling as the goddess of love, associated with the planet in ancient Greece. The war room depicts Louis XIV as a victorious king. This stucco relief, with a larger-than-life depiction of a heroic Louis XIV, is the focal point of the Salon of War, an entry point for the Hall of Mirrors. Located around the Grand Canal, the park covers approximately 800 hectares. This huge park with its gardens, caves and fountains should not be missed while visiting Versailles. Away from the palace, Marie Antoinette's estate consists of the Grand Trianon, Petit Trianon and the Hamlet. Visiting Marie Antoinette's estate is essential to understand the spirit of Versailles as a whole. Welcome to the Queen's Hamlet that was not only a retreat where Marie Antoinette could invite friends. It was also a classroom where she educated the royal children about nature. At Versailles, the fountain complex ordered by King Louis XIV used a vast, complicated and highly expensive system of 14 huge wheels, each more than 30 feet in diameter, powered by the current of a branch of the River Seine. In 1817 original system was replaced by a steam-powered mechanism, which in turn was changed to hydraulic in 1859. Красиво. 
At its peak, there were 2,400 fountains in use at Versailles. Today there are only 50 fountains still functioning and the mile-long Grand Canal supplies the never-ending supply of water required.